Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial video, we are going to see that how can we create single letter logos. Now for creating these simple single letter logos like these ones over here, all you need to do is follow simple steps. Apart from that, you can see that how elegant they look and you can easily use them as your brand identity. Now these letters could be anything like the first letter of your name or the first letter of your brand name or any other thing. So without taking much of your time, let's see that how can we create the simple single letter logo in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, once you have opened your Adobe Illustrator, go to file and from here select new. Alternatively, you can also press Ctrl N to get this kind of a screen in front of you. Now here I am choosing an artboard with the dimensions of 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. But that is my choice and you can go with anything that you want. Now I am going to name it as single letter vector. Now uh, I am just keeping all these settings the same and just click on create. When you will uh, do that, you will see that your artboard has been created just like this. And its name is shown over here with its zoom percentage. You can change it by going to here and uh, just selecting on this fit on screen option. So you can see that your zoom percentage has been changed to a 64%. And that is the best fit that your artboard can fit on your computer screen. Now to get any letter as in our sample uh, we showed the letter D the letter V and the letter A so what we are going to do is uh, first of all I'm going to show you how you can create a single logo animation for a letter D and you can just duplicate it for any other letter so for that go to this type tool and click anywhere on your artboard now you will find uh, something like this. So what I'm going to do is from here, I'm going to increase its size to a 72 point so that whatever is written is visible to the eye. Then select all of it and press the letter that you want to be animated. So here I have pressed the letter D. Now just select it and from here just change its size to a thousand point and as soon as you do that you will see that your letter size has increased drastically like this and that's exactly what we wanted now what we're going to do is um, just select on it but you can see that when you selected on your letter then this kind of line is visible over here and this is a letter not a shape so now what we need to do for our logo is convert this letter into a shape. So that is a very important step in Adobe Illustrator, but it is easy as a piece of cake. So what you got to do is uh, just come to your letter, right click on it. And here you will find an option of create outlines with its shortcut as control shift O. So you got to click on it. And as soon as you do that, you will see that the bottom line that was visible has gone and uh, the selection area has trimmed to the dimensions of your letter. And that is exactly how you can create or convert your letter into your shape. Now this D is not a letter, but it is just like a shape and it would be treated like an object in Adobe Illustrator and that's exactly what we wanted. So now what we are going to do is uh, just grab onto the pen tool and here we are going to draw some random shapes which are intersecting this letter D at some point. Like this and then join it from here. So this is a shape, this doesn't matter because all we need is 
only the points where it is intersecting the letter D. So here are these two points, these two shapes. One over here and one over here where it is intersecting the letter D. Now you can see that these two closed shapes that are formed are the ones that our main point of concern are. So now what we're going to do is uh, just grab onto our selection tool and select this shape, copy it using the shortcut Ctrl C and then paste it in the place using the shortcut Ctrl Shift and V. Now you can just change its position a little bit like this. Now grab onto one shape and shift click on the letter D. Then go to window. Here you will find an option of pathfinder over here. So just select on it. Now make sure that these two shapes are selected. That is one the mark of the pen that you have created and the other is the letter D. Then over here in Pathfinder, you will find an option called Shape Modes. And in Shape Modes, this is a second option called the minus front. So just click on it. And as soon as you do that, you will see that the shape that you had created and wherever it was intersecting the letter D has been removed from the letter. That's exactly what we wanted. Now just bring this shape downwards like this and you can just rotate it slightly. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just grab onto my direct selection tool and adjust its coordinates a little bit. If you want, you can zoom in into your shape a little bit. And here you can just adjust these coordinates. And if you want, you can just grab onto your pen tool and just delete this coordinate. All right, so this is what we have got and I'm pretty happy with it. Apart from that, you can also see that uh, these two shapes have been divided now. And if you want, you can also just select this shape and shift click on this shape. So these two would be selected all together. Then go to Pathfinder. Here you will find an option of merge. So you can merge these two shapes together as well. So now these two shapes would be uh, acting like a one single shape and this shape would be a different one. So once you are happy with your shape or your logo, then you can just select on this shape and change its color to anything that you want. Just double click over here. Here you will find this color option. So you can just choose any color that you want. I'm pretty happy with this shade of dark gray. I have chosen a shade of red and for this below portion, I have chosen a shade of gray. Now, if you want, you can just select this above portion and increase its stroke width to around four points and just change its color to a darker shade of red itself. And if you want, you can just All right, so this is what I'm happy with. And same thing you can do with the stroke of here. So for here, what I'm going to do is simply choose a black stroke and increase its width to a four point. Now you can see that uh, your single letter D logo has been created. And if you want, you can just change its dimensions to anything that you want. Apart from that, uh, using the same technique, you can also create logos of uh, different letters. The single letter logos are very simple to create, as you can see. 
and uh, one more thing you can just select these both shapes together right click and go to group so these would be grouped together and then it would be treated as a logo like this so that is all in today's adobe illustrator tutorials video i hope you all have enjoyed it if you do please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye